welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be doing a shop my stash review I've been had these products in my stash for I would say a little longer than a week I used pretty much all these products but a lot of like the lip products I didn't get much use out of so let's just jump into this review and let's start off with primers I want to be organized today so I really did organize myself so I can stay focused so for primers I had this um, no problem prime essence this is nice I really enjoyed using this primer it left my skin very hydrated I didn't feel dry and I didn't feel like after I applied my foundation my foundation was you know dry or anything like that because I sometimes get dry patches depending on what I used before to you know moisturize or prime my face so this was very very nice I really really like this I didn't think I was gonna like it as much as I did but it was really nice um, the next primer I had was the Stellar Brilliant Primer. This is a little sample size that I got from Sephora. This was really, really nice. I like this primer. It left my pores very tiny. I couldn't see anything. My skin looked very smooth underneath my foundation. It was super, super lightweight, non-greasy, nothing. I really loved using this primer. I never used anything from this brand, so this was my first um my first time using anything from stellar so i'm pretty curious to see what other items or products they have to offer but this was a really really nice primer for foundations i had these maybelline superstay foundations these were really nice i had two because um you know i wanted to create my perfect shade one is too light one is too dark i had buff beige and honey these are super super pretty i used these in um a get ready with me look that i'm going to upload today i think and yeah by the time you see it see this video i probably already uploaded it but yeah i did use this in a get ready with me i love these foundations they look super super pretty on the skin very smooth um no complaints i really enjoy these so these are going back for concealer, I used the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Full Coverage Concealer in the shade Medium Honey. I really love this concealer. It's very nice, very full coverage. You can wear it with foundation or wear it on its own for like those quick on the day on the run days that you know you want to just cover up your dark circles and run out the door. It's very nice for that. I love the Dofa applicator. It's very nice and I love the fact that it picks up a nice amount of product so I can distribute it under my under eye. Very, very nice. Um, I believe you can find Flower Beauty in Walmart. I found this in Walmart. Of course, I would find it in Walmart. But yeah, I love this concealer. And to set that, I used the Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder. Mine is in the shade Translucent Extra Coverage. No complaints, this is a cult classic. You know, can't say enough about it, just that I need to run through it because there's so much product in here and I know I had this for a little while, so. That's the only thing, but I love that powder. The next two face powders, well, one's a face powder that I had is this LA Girl Pro Face HD Matte Press Powder in the shade Soft Honey. Very, very nice. All these products really worked out for me very nicely. I can't, you know, say enough about it. Just that I didn't get use out of cer certain products, but all these products are very, very nice. Um, this one's a very nice face powder, especially if you just want to throw it in your bag. You know, a quick little touch up and go. This is perfect for it. Love this powder. And for bronzer, I had the um, Pretty Vulgar Bronze B Powder um, Bronzer. This is a very nice bronzer. It's falling apart on me because I did surgery on it, but um, it's a very nice tone i like it for contouring for bronzing up my skin um, i also use this in a tutorial and it's very 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 nice i like this bronzer a lot 
and for highlight this was on a chopping block for me this week um this is the elf highlight in the 24 karat gold it's such a beautiful highlight it swatches very nicely but i feel like to apply to the skin i was fighting for anything like I was really really fighting to get any color payoff off of this um you know I can swatch the hell out of it and obviously it's gonna swatch super pretty but on the face you know performing for me was I don't know I did not enjoy this on my face so I'm going to declutter this elf highlight and yeah get it out of my drawers because i'm not gonna use it anymore you know so this is gone for um let's just do eye products very quickly before i move into my lips um for eye products this week i had the billion dollar brows universal brow pencil it doesn't have a shade i'm pretty sure that's because it's a universal shade but this pencil is very nice i love it um it has a, a thicker type of pencil type of applicator whatever you may call this part it's, it's not a thin applicator it's more thicker but i enjoy that you know especially for filling in sparse areas on my brows you know it really worked out nicely for me it's creamy not too creamy but it's nice where it can just blend out through your brows nicely it also has a spoolie it was very very nice i like that i got that in a boxy charm and i also got this in a boxy charm this is the chella tentalizing tentalizing taupe eyebrow cream this is nice product too this has like a brush side and then the cream product on the other side this was nice um after lining my brows with that brow pencil i would go in with this and just kind of you know fill it in and give me that nice chiseled dark brow like real you know glammed out brow i really liked this product for that it's really really nice i like that product a lot for mascara i had the tarte big ego mascara this was a beautiful mascara reminds me of the better than sex mascara really like that mascara as well and it just gave me those type of vibes and i also love this packaging it's super pretty love it i love this mascara it's super super pretty and then for um eyeliners i had this ColourPop BFF Creme Eyeliner in the shade Electric Daisy. And I also had this hard candy one. And I had this hard candy in here for such a long time. And I'm over it. I'm also going to declutter this hard candy pencil. I don't enjoy it. I love the ColourPop ones so much better. So I would rather grab up a blue eyeliner in the color pop formula before i would go and grab any other eyeliner i just love that color pop formula so 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 much so this is being decluttered as well and i'm putting this back into my drawer because i absolutely love this now moving on to all of my lip products because we have a few here um let's quickly talk about the first one that i had in here for a while now this is the wet and wild bear your soul yeah i was gonna say bear two comments but bear your soul lipstick i really like this especially to top over coat lip liner or if i have a nude lip stick that's too too nude and i want to kind of like tone it down a little bit i or mute it i kind of go over top with this and it just works out super super nice and i say that because um that i'm going into my next thing right here this is the ofra long lasting liquid lipstick in the shade nude potion this is a very nice formula but the shade was a little bit too pale ish on my lips where it was very very light like it was super light like it would look it looked crazy so since i already had this on top i was like okay how can i 
bring me back so i applied this lipstick on the center dabbed it out and it just made it look so much better it added a nice little tint to it where it kind of didn't make it so light it kind of i don't know it, it just worked out very nicely so i'm putting this lipstick back and i'm also going to keep this because i did enjoy the formula and now i know how to kind of work with it and pair it in order for me to be able to use it on my lips and not look so crazy so i'm definitely keeping this and it's going back now the um ofra lipsticks that i didn't use that i'm going to keep in my shop my stash for another week are these three lipsticks right here i have these um long lasting liquid lipsticks in monaco miami fever and this one is in coven these two right here are a metallic type of shade and then this one is a matte formula and i absolutely love this color i just didn't get to use it at all so i'm going to keep these in for another shop my stash week and then probably pick out a nude lipstick and that's it because you know i really want to use these um but i need a nude just in case you know so i'll pull out a nude but i won't pull out any shades after that i'm decluttering these two items out of my drawers period and then all these other items are going back into my makeup drawer oh and i totally almost just forgot to talk about these two items were which were the most important so i have this abh um norvina palette this is the volume three mine is absolutely filthy i have fingerprints all over it but i did create a look using this palette on my channel so if you didn't see that check that video out and here is the palette she's absolutely stunning i love this palette so so much it performed beautifully on my eyes it it was just stunning absolutely stunning i love it i'm so happy i have this palette in my collection i can't wait to play with her some more and create some more looks with her super super pretty i had an idea to create like a soft glam glittery eye and i really want to use this palette for that but i absolutely love it so that's going back and then i also had this tardis pro glow and blush palette this brings a highlight shade a bronzer shade up top here and then four blush shades it's a very beautiful palette performed nicely on the skin but i do want to get some more use out of her because i only used her about two times this week so it, the times that i used her it was beautiful but like i said i want to get more use out of my products so i'm going to keep this item as well another week okay guys this is everything that i used for my shop my stash this week and those were my thoughts on those products obviously i'm getting rid of some and keeping some in my rotation again for another week but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed my review um if you guys have any comments or questions feel free to leave them down below i love getting little comments from you guys and you know talking to you guys oh so yeah if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you have not yet subscribed to my channel and i'll see you guys on my next video bye